Former President Trump held his first rally of the midterm year in Arizona on Saturday, taking the opportunity to hit President Biden and continue to voice his unsubstantiated claims about election fraud in the 2020 presidential election. In an address from Florence, Arizona, Trump covered a plethora of issues, including the COVID pandemic, the economy, foreign policy, and crime. They're incompetent, actually, Trump said, referring to the Biden administration. Trump also used the address to attack Biden's chief medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, who worked with Trump during his administration as well. Biden's made him the person. He's like the king. <laughs> Sorry, my, my uh, computer's messing up. Uh, Fauci's the king, Trump said, invoking chance of lock him up. The comments come less than a week after Fauci accused Senator Rand Paul of putting him in personal danger due to public attacks. I actually didn't see an article about that. I'm not saying that the Hill is lying or anything. I just didn't happen to see anything relating the two of them going back and forth uh, last week. But while he discussed other topics, Trump's election fraud claims and the investigation into the January 6, 2021 attacks on the Capitol played the dominant role in his address. Trump slammed the House's January 6 Select Committee, which he referred to as the Unselect Committee of Political Hacks and denounced what he described as the inhumane treatment of those who were arrested during the storming of the Capitol. What's happening to those people in those jails? Why aren't they doing it to Antifa and Black Lives Matter, Trump said. Partisan Democrats have celebrated their indefinite detention without trial. Trump was supposed to hold a news conference at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, as counter-programming for a scheduled prayer service at the Capitol to commemorate the events of January 6th on their one-year anniversary, but canceled it and said it would address the topic at the rally in Arizona. The rally comes as Republicans increasingly express optimism ahead of the midterms in November. Arizona in particular will be a major battleground with the high-profile Senate and governor race. 2022, despite so far being a total catastrophe for the country, is going to be a big one for the people of this state, Trump told the crowd. And we're only, only two weeks in. It's already a, a total catastrophe for the, all right, whatever. Uh, Trump has endorsed Republican gubernatorial candidate Kari Lake, but has yet to make an endorsement in the state Senate primary. A number of Republicans are running in the contest, including the state attorney general, Mark Bronovich, Jim Lamon, and Blake Masters, who was in attendance at the rally on Saturday. The former president said he will be endorsing the primary at the right time. Trump made clear that he would not be endorsing Governor Doug Ducey, who is said to be mulling a potential Senate run in the race. Ducey has faced Trump's ire since he certified the 2020 election results in Arizona. Ah, that's it. Somebody said, oh, he wants to run for the Senate, Trump said of Ducey. He's never going to get my endorsement. He warned that weak Republicans who did not acknowledge election fraud or the situation at the border will be losing elections. <laughs> Trump lost Arizona to Biden in 2020. The state's Republican-controlled Senate ordered an audit of the results in Maricopa County in the wake of the 2020 elections, which found that Biden won the county by a larger margin than the final certified results showed. Very ironic, too. When they get through certifying this, it'll show that I won. Oh, the, I, I lost by a higher number? Uh, this is fraud. <sighs> Where do we even begin? There's not really that much to say about this story. It's it's him just being hyperbolic. Like, what what has been totally catastrophic about the the last two weeks? Like, you could say, I guess, Biden's COVID handling, but that went on even before, uh, two weeks ago. And, you know, if anything, from Trump's point of view, it probably would be better, you know, now that the Supreme Court has uh, blocked the mask or test mandate that he had for, for businesses with more than 100 people or 100 people or more. So I don't I don't know what's so catastrophic about, you know, this current year, <laughs> only two weeks in. Um, and the weak Republican thing is funny too. Like he really has it against Ducey just because he certified the results like every other governor did. <laughs> you should have held out for me now. I won't endorse you for the Senate. You know, if he was so popular in Arizona, why'd he lose the state? Like, I, I see I see his endorsement as being as consequential in that state as Obama's in Texas. Just that, like, you're in a state where you're not liked. Your party usually loses. You sticking your nose in there is probably not going to help the person out too much anyway. 
Fauci's the king. I mean, well, you know, he was wise enough for you guys to talk to when you were in office. So how do you like them apples? It's just a goofy speech. But I do think he he is right that the Republicans are probably going to get the House and Senate this year because Democrats are running like just buffoons. So that that's the one part I'll agree with them on.